What's up, y'all? It is your girl, Sarah from Sarah Styles here. In today's video, I am going to be sharing with you how I am doing in the past 28 days. What is killing it right now? Which platform is just on fire? I am up like 24% on this platform. And which platform is I have made one sale in the past week on this platform. I have no idea what's going on. I'm also going to share with you my top brands and top categories in the past 28 days, the brands and categories that are making me the most gross revenue, as well as the items that I sold in the past week, March 11th through March 18th, that sold for over 30 before we jump into it, I have taken a poll on my YouTube and on my Instagram, and you guys are saying you want to see these What Sold videos weekly. My life is so hectic that I cannot film, edit, and publish the same week that I am filming it. So do you guys still want to see these What Sold videos if it is a week or two after the item actually sold? Let me know down below, but let's jump into it. Okay, so before we get into those amazing what sold and the actual items that sold that contributed to this, I want to talk a little bit about my numbers, where I'm sitting at, what's kind of going on with my business. I am currently basically net neutral for how much I'm making compared to the previous 28 days. This is off $310, but that's solely because I have not updated it for the day. I'm doing this video before I did shipping, so I'm about net neutral. And then if you scroll down here, you can see as well, I am about 50% to my goal. Um, it is the 18th, so I'm a little bit behind on my goal. I don't know if I'll hit that goal, but something that is pretty amazing to me is that I am selling the same amount of items that I'm listing. This is what reseller uh, Daily Refinement, Chris as Daily Refinement would like to refer to as Reseller Nirvana. I um, mean, it's something that I strive for because it means that I'm kind of doing everything right. And once you can get to this point where you've hit Reseller Nirvana, I know if I want to increase, I'm doing things right. I just have to list more items and I will sell more items. I am going to say that this is definitely a thing that works on eBay, Poshmark, and I will link some videos at the end of this. Poshmark, not so much. The more I list on Poshmark, it does not mean that my sell through stays consistent. So keep that in mind as you are selling on different platforms. Something that is contributing to this and my growth in staying net neutral is strictly because my eBay is lit right now. Um, my Poshmark, I am doing about a quarter of what I was doing before. And I will link a video up here about kind of what I think is going on and why that's happening. My Poshmark is just not doing it for me. I am so grateful that I have moved over to eBay. You can see strictly on eBay, I'm up 24%. So what's contributing to this? I will show you the actual items that sold this week, but let's get into kind of the high level stats to see what's happening here. This is the last 28 days, my categories. So if you are new to the channel, or quick reminder, your sell through rate is going to be how many items you've sold out of how many items that you have for sale. So if you've sold 100 pairs of jeans and you have 100 pairs of jeans available, you have 100% sell through rate. The higher your sell through rate, the better. Um, it means you are buying things that people actually want. So I always aim for a high sell through rate, high sell through rate, and then you look at your average sale price, high sell through rate, high average sale price. That's going to be kind of a bolo category for me. I'm selling them high and I'm selling them all. So the one that's hit it up here is swim. Um, be cautious when you look at this. I only had, you can see down here, I only had one total available for swim. So that's why my sell through rate is 100%, but it did sell at $43. So I'm gonna take a look at that and see what happened there. Um, and then if you come down here, this is going to be look a little funny just because I had that one that was a sell through rate. But I like to start towards the right of the chart and move my way down. Those are going to be my below best categories. Bags, 11.6%. We're looking at a rolling 28 days. So 11% of my bags have sold right now in the last 28 days at an average sale price of $55. Jackets, 9% uh, sell through rate. Jumpsuits is a 13% sell through rate. Average sale price of $45. $5. Jeans is a 21% sell-through rate, average sale price of $40. 
sweaters is 6% sell through rate, which makes sense because we're kind of coming into spring. That's kind of declining. Pants is a 15% sell through rate, tops, and then, you know, I have some of the other things. I want to quickly go over some of my top selling brands that are contributing to that. And before I tell you that, I do want to keep in mind that I have, I do thrifted and I do pallets probably 70 to 80 percent of what I'm listing right now is pallets definitely the past two three four months what I've been listing is from pallets thrift stores have been closed I was remote teaching my kids um, so I had to have stuff come to me so keep that in mind when you're seeing these average sale prices they are new with tags items um, that I'm getting from Palette. So Mother Superior, 87% sell through rate, $63 average sale price. Those are Palette items. Cotton Citizen, also from a Palette new with tags, 55% sell through rate, Rag and Bone. Um, if you guys are women's resellers, some of these brands are probably not very surprising to you. Average sale price, $71. Uh, 42 percent sell through rate so these are things that I'm going to look for um, on the next palette that I buy or when I see them out in a thrift store as well Enza Costa is a 57 percent sell through rate 39 dollar average sell price BKE BKE is all thrifted items 57 percent sell through rate 33 dollar average sale price jeans is what I'm buying from BKE is definitely jeans um, citizens of humanity these are thrifted items as well 66 percent sell through rate, $33 average sale price. Velvet by Velvet or by Graham. And I can't think of it. It's Velvet by Graham something. 66% <laughs> sell through rate, average sale price of $25. That is mostly new with tags. It does not, it retails really high. MSRPs are like over $100 to $300 for some of it. And it's selling at average sale price of $25. So when you're looking at thrift stores, keep that in mind as well. The average sale price is not that great, but the sell through rate. So if it's going to sell, you know, average sale price of a Michael Kors is $98. Yes, please. Thank you. Uh, sell through rate is 28%. So let's get into what actually sold over $30 for this past week. Oh, that is bad. So for uh, Poshmark, I had one sale on Poshmark this past week. I deleted my entire closet and I am relisting it. I am relisting on average 35 items a day using List Perfectly. The link, if you guys are interested in that, I have a link for List Perfectly down below. It's really easy to do. It takes me, you know, maybe 15 minutes to do 35 items. But I've only sold one item. Um, so I don't know what's going on with Poshmark. Like I said, I will link some videos at the end. I don't know what's up. But these did sell for $35. They are new with tags from a palette that I purchased. I only use stock photos if I have permission. So there's sometimes you'll see stock photos. I've reached out to companies and asked, hey, can I use your stock photo? And I have permission to do so. If you do not have permission, um, especially on eBay, you can get in big trouble. So the North Face Navy, this is a new with tags item. These are not what it actually sold for because they are... Um, offers. So if you get an offer on it and you pull it up in this view, it's not what it actually sold for. So this sold for, I think like $60 new with tags, the North Face, Rag and Bone. This contributed to, you know, that high average sale price, high sell through rate for Rag and Bone. This sold, I think this sold for full asking. Someone bought that straight out. These are palettes. So what you're going to notice is a lot of what I'm selling is new with tags from the palette. But something to keep in mind, this is mostly what I'm listing, <laughs> right? Um, so it, it is selling better, but it's because it's what I'm actually listing. If you want to come in here, you have to keep in mind your profits when you are doing pallets. My profits for pallets, we'll scroll down here, is going to be a little bit less than the thrift store because I am paying more up front, right? My average cost of goods for like this pallet, here, we'll do this palette right here, is $12. So I pay a little bit more to have the convenience to have things come to me, which is taken out of my profit. My average profit is $18. Um, and then you come up here to thrift store, I'm spending roughly $6 at a thrift store. And my average profit is $27. Um, so obviously thrift stores for me is a better profit, but I just don't have the time COVID happened kids to be thrifting as often as I need to be able to sustain my business. Um, so I'm doing kind of a mix of both. 
always, always, always look at your data and see what is working for you. This is, you know, take myself with a grain of salt because this is what I have access to, the knowledge that I have and everything. But I'd like to show you my charts and my numbers to help guide you to do what you do. So if you do want to learn how to resell, how to make more money reselling, um, make sure to hit that subscribe button and notifications so you can learn how to make more money reselling. That's what my channel is about, showing you how to increase your profits, whether you're a side hustle to a full-time reseller. So let's get back to the fun part of it. What sold for over $30 last week? Uh, Monroe, these sold for, I think these sold for full asking price as well. You'll notice a trend here, a lot of bottoms, uh, joggers, jeans, you know, more casual type bottoms. These are rag and bones. These sold for an offer, a very reasonable offer of $60. Rag and bone again. These sold, I think full price. Um, these sold for full asking price. I do have best offers. I I do all the things. I don't do free shipping, but if someone wants to send me an offer, I have best offers. I run sales. I send offers, um, all the things to get people to buy my stuff. I'm not above it. I'm just trying to make a buck over here. Marmot, this is new with tags as well. What's surprising is I listed um, some of these jackets recently and I was like, oh, should I list them now or should I hold on to them until the fall when the weather starts to pick up? And they're selling. It's kind of the nice thing about being on an online platform is you don't get quite as much seasonality, I find, as when you are, you know, in a brick and mortar type platform. People from all over the world can be buying this stuff. So this is free people. This is a sweater. This was new with tags as well from a palette jogger type style. Um, what I like about these joggers, you can see they're wearing them with like cute little booties. They would be super comfortable around the house, but then also like, you know, put on a cute pair of little booties and you don't feel as, um, I don't know, dress down when you go places. Um, you kind of still look cute. You can go to the grocery store and don't feel like you're going in your pajamas. These are wide leg ATM. ATM was a new brand to me. I am by no means a fancy reseller. I do not know all the brands. I do not know even like 10% of the brands. Um, so this was, this came in a palette with some other brands that I knew. And I was like, I looked it up in Terra Peak and it had reasonable sell through rates, regional average sale price. And so I took a risk and it seems to be doing performing pretty well for me. Let's see, I think it probably is on my top brands. Sorry to make you guys dizzy. <laughs> Let's see if it showed up on my top brands, ATM. Um, it has not showed up, which, oh no, it does. It is up there, let's see. ATM, 18% sell through rate, average sell price of $43. So this this is my top 20 performing brands of gross revenue. I have made the most money in the past 28 days off of these brands and ATM is one of them. Ralph Lauren, this is new with tags. Um, what's kind of funny about this, I bought an activewear palette. So, you know, Nike, I kept this from it. <laughs> I have an activewear problem, if you guys aren't aware. Um, I source at the thrift store, the activewear specifically because I go and look for myself. And then while I'm there, I buy other things. So I bought an activewear palette, Nike, Puma, Adidas, um, all of that, you know, before January hit. And then also, you know, people are staying home right now. So I did it for that purpose. And they included a hundred extra dresses and rompers like this really fancy things that you could tell no one was buying from them um they were just they kind of just shoved it into my palette i didn't know that it was coming so it made my average cost of goods go down um and things are selling slowly from it i'm hopeful that things are going to open back up and maybe this summer there's going to be a lot of weddings maybe proms and people will buy it but i didn't intentionally buy this <laughs> but it did sell uh, BKE. So these are some of the BKE that is selling. Shorts tend to be a lower average sale price for me, but my uh, my ASP it will be pretty high. No, shorts. Wicked, wicked, rewind that. Shorts tend to be a high sell through rate for me during the summer. Typically a low average sell price, but if things are moving um, and I know that they're going to move and I'm going to make a couple bucks on them, I will take it. Uh, BKE is one of those top brands for me as well. Citizens of Humanity, this is one of my top brands as well. Jeans, I, I just buy jeans from Citizens of Humanity. I don't even know. Do they make other things? I don't know. If they do, I don't buy them. 
Um, let me know if you guys, so I'm, I'm, I'm bringing you the items that sold for, for over $30 this past week. Let me know if you guys want to see everything that sold. Is that helpful to you or just the top 30? Maybe sometimes you want to see my bottom. You know what? I didn't really make money on. Uh, let me know in those comments down below and what's selling for you guys as well. Prana, these were men's. I got them in a reseller box. Um, I have a couple of people on social media that have reached out to me and they're like, hey, I just like shopping uh, and I don't necessarily have time to list everything. Can I send you a box? And I pay for it. Um, can I send you a box? Um, and so this was one of them. And I bought the box from her. It was kind of, I did an unboxing as well. I'm doing an unboxing. I think it'll be listed or put up at the end of April. March. I don't know what day it is. <laughs> Keep an eye out for it. Um, it was actually a really good box. So this sold from it. This was an offer, but it was a very reasonable offer of $30. Um, this was from my cousin's lot and this brand Arata, I, I don't know how to say it, but it uh, is like a boutique brand that my cousin had a boutique and I bought some uh, all of her stuff. She closed down before COVID. Um, then COVID hit and I had no inventory. So I bought everything that she had left over from her boutique. And so this was one of them. Most of the stuff sold pretty well. And this was something that had kind of been lingering. Um, it sold during the summer last year. And this is one that hadn't, I think it actually got returned and then it wasn't summer anymore. So then it didn't sell. So that one sold. This is Columbia. Columbia is um, it doesn't sell super high for me, but it's very, very consistent. I'm in Colorado. I see Columbia all the time. I will definitely pick up jackets and snow boots all of the time because those are going to sell higher. I'll pick up other things to wear for myself because I like wearing Columbia. Um, but this one was a new with tags from the palette that I purchased. This is a Puma. Um, I'm sad that Puma doesn't sell faster and higher. I used to love to wear Puma. Um, I still do. So, but it sold, um, I'll take it. It was cropped. So I think that probably helped as well. And then these are some more jeans. So this is what, this is thrifted as well. Most of my jeans are gonna be thrifted. It's hard, I'm having a hard time finding palettes that have a lot of jeans. That's what sold for me. I am working on some editing. So if you guys are liking my new editing style, drop those notes down below. Um, and let me know if you want to see these weekly, even if it's not published the week that I filmed it. So YouTube thinks you guys should be watching this video. I will link some more what sold videos here for you guys. And make sure to hit that subscribe.